Hello, Empire! It's Monday, Monday, Monday! And here I am, back in my room in front of my camera, trying to think up good things to talk about for you while being moderately entertaining. Let's see how it goes. No comment time today, video's already way too long, sorry! Well, I've spent a small amount of time playing around with another program that I'm gonna start editing my videos with, so I can start doing cooler and more impressive things. However, it has proven to be more complicated than I thought it would be. I'm sitting Indian style on my chair, so it's just kind of moving the way it wants to go right now. Wow, okay, just keep spinning there. Right now I'm using iMovie, which is super simple. So by the way, all of you who are making excuses for not making videos, because you don't have the right software, or you don't have a nice enough camera, I say fooey. Yes, I just said fooey. It gets the point across, okay? So if you happen to be one of those people, take it from me because I was once in your shoes. I've loved YouTube for a long time. I love the community, love the people here, love the fact that there are so many talented people who choose to showcase their work here, love the fact that there's opportunity here. Shane Dawson is getting his own show on Nickelodeon. That proves it. People in the higher-ups are getting corporate sponsorships and are making quite a living for themselves. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that shows there's opportunity. Point being, I knew how much I loved this place we call YouTube. And I knew that I wanted to be a part of the content generators. But for a long time I made excuses not to start. I would say that mainly it was the fact that I was kind of embarrassed. I knew the people around me, you know, my friends, my family, they just wouldn't get it. I'm sure some of you have felt the same way at one point or another. So what did you do on Monday? I, uh, made a YouTube video. What? I, um, I made a YouTube video. I can't understand what you're saying. I played video games? Oh, cool. I've never been one to care what others think of me, but I also don't like being ridiculed, which I knew would happen. So I didn't do what I wanted to do, which is the equivalent of having my own show that anybody with an internet connection can see. Imagine the possibilities! I didn't do what I wanted to do because I was embarrassed. So I started in secrecy. Made a few videos to start out with, kind of tested the waters, see what it's all about, how long it would take me, how hard it was. I created a testing ground for myself, because it's hard when you're trying to sell yourself and only yourself. I don't have any products to hide behind or to speak for me. Like, even if you don't like Billy Mays, you gotta admit, OxyClean's a pretty amazing product, right? Kinda like that. With this, what you see is what you get. And if you don't like this, then this fails. That's a really hard thing to do. You risk rejection. Total and complete rejection. Or worse, you're ignored. Nobody even notices your existence. You're standing on the stage in front of your camera giving people free reign to say whatever they want about you or to you. So what's the point of that story? I tell you that it's better to get out there and be rejected and ignored than to never get out there at all. If you're willing to take that risk, then you are truly bigger than anybody who hasn't taken that step themselves. So what they say really doesn't matter anyway. I love the position I'm in right now. Because anytime anybody says that I suck at this, or that I need to do something else, or that it's pointless, or that they just don't get it, I can just say with confidence, that's okay. Not everyone's gonna get it. Or if they're rude about it, I can just say that there are plenty of people out there. I usually mention the number of subscribers I have at the time that would say that they are dead wrong. So who cares about the negativity of one, two, three, ten, twenty or more people? There are always more fish in the sea of YouTube and the internet. And I guarantee that there are plenty of those people that think you're awesome and would love to see what you have to create. Will your content be the best of the best? Maybe not. But will people watch it? Maybe so. I mean, you're watching me right now and I'm by no means the best of the best. To sum up everything I've been rambling about, I encourage you to go watch one of my first few videos. Yeah, they're definitely not the greatest things in the world. But I actually look back at them and smile. Why? Because then I look at my latest videos and see how much different they are. Back then I shot with the webcam that came with my computer and the software that came with my computer. No fancy software, no fancy camera, no fancy lighting, no fanciness. Just me and what I had at the time. I'm still using the software that came with my computer. So if you're one of those people that's just waiting to get better stuff so you can make good content, Get in the game, people! Stuff won't make you better at what you do. Doing things the wrong way over and over and over and over again will make you better at what you do. I'm a perfect example of that because I know that every time I make a video, the next one's a little bit better. I have my good days and my bad days, of course, but my skills are increasing. So I encourage you, go out and grab whatever you can get your hands on. Webcam, old school camcorder, still camera that has video recording functionality, anything. Use the software that came with your computer. If you have a Mac, use iMovie. If you have a PC, I'm sorry. Just kidding. But use Windows Movie Maker. You may just discover something that you have a true passion for. <laughs> Get this. One time a long time ago, I got with my friends and we wanted to make a little movie. So we set up a scene, set up the camera, hit record, did the scene, and then whenever we wanted to jump cut it, we hit record again, set up the next scene, and started over. Did absolutely no editing afterwards. We stuck the tape in and watched it. Was it great? No. It was awesome. And so much fun. Anybody else would look at it and think, oh... That's cool, I guess. But we thought we were the coolest people ever. So who cares if nobody gets it? Do what you want to do. Go out and make a cheesy movie. Talk to a camera. Be a dork. 
embrace it. Because eventually, what you're doing will get better and better and better, and people will start watching. Thank you, Empire, for enjoying what I do. I feel like if my videos encourage or entertain at least one person, they were worth it. So if this video encouraged you to start YouTubing, I would be honored if you would put it as a video response so I can check it out. Well, honestly, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to talk about today. But once again, I start to ramble and out comes content. I do have some bad news, Empire. I was trying to think of a witty and clever way to make this sound not as bad as it is, but I think it's easier just to do it. I'm going down from five shows a week to three shows a week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, probably. It's just taking up too much of my time right now. I've got other things in my life that I really need to concentrate on. I may make an extra video here and there, but I'm just letting you know that there aren't going to be a guaranteed five anymore. It's sad, but necessary. Cliché to phrase. Comment, rate, subscribe!